news, so Stephen Topham Hatt has been murdered by an angry group of protesters protesting against the railroad. Many people are saddened by this news. What do you have to say about it, Timothy? It is very tragic that he could just get murdered in his office like that. The next morning, the protesters had left in the sheds, and James was backing in. What are you all arguing about? We're arguing about you, James. What? You're a scumbag who should burn in hell. Shut up, Gordon! F*** you, Gordon. They're just gonna run away now, James. They're just gonna run away from your problem. He doesn't even know what he did, Gordon. Stupid for him, he deserves a slap on the nuts. Are you sad about the fat controller, James? What happened to the fat controller? Do not watch the news. He's dead. He's been murdered. Everybody else is very devastated about what happened. That's horrible. That must be the reason why I saw Richard wearing this suit. Thanks for coming here, Toby. I need you to take me to Tidmouth Sheds. No problem, sir. What is going on here? I don't know who you are, but you're clearly not the fat controller. Why are you wearing his clothes? Did you not watch the news? My dad's dead. I have to take over as the controller. What? Well, serves him right for allowing an idiot like James to come back to the railway. Everyone was silent. No one had ever said something like that. Gordon, that is very disrespectful. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself for forgiving James for everything that he's done. And Emily, why didn't you, you and Henry forgive James even though he killed you? He didn't kill us, Gordon. We died because we slipped off of the cliff. Gordon, that is very disrespectful of you. It's funny you, you need to shunt trucks in the yard. What was wrong with him? Why was he being such a prick? Well, he was really mad because James came back to the railway. He still doesn't forgive him, and he thinks that James and Spencer should be dead. Anyways, I have to take Richard to the funeral, and you. And he said that you guys should come too. Where is Gordon? He didn't come here. He said that he'd rather shun in the yard than be with the rest of us. That fat whale can't even take the time to respect the fat control just because of an argument. Percy, calm down. You don't- No, I won't calm down. The fat controller just died. He's dead. He's gone. And then Gordon can't even take the time to respect him just because he had an argument with the rest of you. Gordon is a piece of crap. We should be scrapped. And also, everyone on the island had found out about what Gordon did. And everyone was angry with him. Even Cranky, who was more angry than usual. Wait, where are you going? I don't want to be around an engine that's just a piece of crap. James, are you alright? No, Edward, I'm not alright. Gordon hates me for something I don't even know that I did. Like, what is it so bad that he thinks I deserve to die? Something very bad. You blame Thomas for Percy getting shot? And teamed up with Diesel 10? We've come here to stop you, Diesel 10 and James. And James, I can't believe you betrayed us like this. What's wrong with you? You killed Percy. I'm getting rid of scum like you. And the reason I'm killing the rest of our friends is because they support murders. That is the reason that Gordon wants us dead.
Jordan has been getting a lot more angrier than usual lately. Like when Sotopam had forced him to pull trucks, his face turned bright red and he gave the trucks death threats. He also crashed through McDonald's and got arrested because the owner wouldn't give him the restaurant. And he shot up the power box causing a power outage on the entire island. Something strange is going on. Street. You don't own a street. So I, I am laughing at her and I tell her that. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Is this a private street? She's like, no. I'm like, well, then you can't. Now, you, Crane Engine, I want you to tell me everything you know about Thomas, his friends, the layout of the island of Sodor, everything about that type of stuff. Oh, you want me to rip off the tape? Let's get away with this. Tell me everything you know. I That's a terrible. I know you're going to do something like this again. Do you want to die or get tortured? I'd rather that than you hurt my friends. All right then. What's going on here? Why are we here, Harvey? We've been kidnapped and Alfred's trying to use us to get information. Come with me! Harvey's crane almost tied down so he couldn't use it. This is my remote control car that I can use. It has an arm kind of like yours, and I will use it to torture you to get information. Where's Thomas and his friends? I don't know. Now, where does the top of hat keep his money? I don't know. Tell me all of Thomas's personal information: his social security card number, his credit card number, his debit card number, his phone number, his driver's license, his ID. I need to know everything about every engine on the island of Sodor. Back to me the password to his YouTube account, his Twitter account, everything. Why would I know any of that? Or his friend, aren't you? <laughs> Tell me everything, Harvey. Tell me right now, or else the torture will continue. Or I can just kill you. Your choice. Fine then, just kill me. Kill me now. Come on. So Harvey hung on. Stupid engine. I guess I'll just have to ask that stupid bus. Now it's your turn, Bertie bus. I won't tell you anything. You won't. I'll just have to make you then. Get back here! The bus ran out of out place and he kept going. Bertie arrived at the far course to tell the engine. Then he honked his horn. What do you want, Bertie? Well, Percy, I have some really bad news. Javi, he's been killed. What? Yes, Alfred, he's back and he wants some revenge and he tried to get information out of him and he tried to kill him. In fact, he pushed him off of Mount Sodor. He tried to do the same thing to me, but I ran away. And I'm afraid for my life, Percy. You have to spread the news to everyone and the new fat controller. Thomas! Toby! Thomas! Thomas! I have some really bad news. What is it, Percy? Harvey, he's been murdered, and Alfred's back, and he's trying to kill us. Percy, if this is one of your another pathetic attempts to scare me after what happened when I scared you with that dragon, then you are failing. Thomas, I wouldn't lie about something like that. What is wrong with you? Harvey is dead, and you're just thinking it's a joke? Calm down, Percy. Um, this is actually really serious, Thomas. If what Percy's saying is true, True, then that means we're going to have to spread the news to the other engines. I'm sorry for not believing you, Percy. 
That's fine, Thomas, but we need to tell all of the other engines. So, Percy went out of the shed to go spread the news. Nia! Nia! What is that, Percy? Harvey is dead, and Alfred's coming back and trying to do bad things to us. Tell the other engines! The news had spread all over the island, and Sir Topham Hat was very concerned. And he really didn't know what to do until it was his first day on the job. What would my dad do in this situation? Wait a minute. I know. I should find his controller and tell him exactly what he's doing. Yes, that's a great idea. But first, I have to find out who. I'm gonna go ask the other engines. All right, engines. Yeah, I have. I have a very important question for all of you. But, sir, there's a murderer coming to the railway. Yes, I know, but do any of you know whose controller is? Technically, the controller was your father. No, it wasn't, Henry. It was his grandfather, Bertram Hatt. He used to own him before he killed himself. Now he's a ghost. Well, actually, no, I think he's alive again now. Oh. Well, we can't have that. So, does anyone have any ideas of what we can do? Maybe we could gang up on him and shoot him. That clearly hasn't worked like it did last time. Because whenever we gang up on our enemies and shoot them, it never works. They always just come back. Actually, it worked when we fought Diesel 10, but you were dead when that happened. Alright, whoever has the best idea... Can you please say it, like, maybe tomorrow, by tomorrow, can you guys please come up with that idea, because I have no idea what to do. Hey, Cranky, have you heard of the news? What is it, Salty? There's a murderer coming to the island. I can't say I'm surprised. Meanwhile, Gordon was sitting on a siding at the docks. He had realized that he had been making a mistake. And he had been really rude to the other engines, and he wanted to apologize. And he didn't know how. Salty, I'm sorry for all the things I said. And I don't know how to apologize to the other engines. Tell them that you didn't mean what you said, and you're very sorry, and you want their forgiveness. Thank you, Salty. I'll try to tell them now. But you better watch out, Gordon. There's a murderer coming to the island. Are you sure this isn't one of your crappy stories? No, there's really a murderer. They're coming to the island and trying to kill someone. In fact, they killed Harvey. Ugh, they probably think it's me. So Gordon went to Tim of Sheds to go clear things up. Ha <laughs> ha ha. What the hell? What do you want, Gordon? Percy, I have... I, I, I'm going to make an apology. I'm sorry, Percy, for all the things I said. I was just really mad. I accept your apology then, Gordon. But where are we? How should I know? Oh, hello, Gordon. Here we go again. Now tell me everything you know about the island of Soto. All the people, the engines, everything. Because if you don't, I will torture you and kill you. You got it? Alright, cool. Now when can I leave? When you tell me the information. You wanna fight, Gordon? Well, considering there's no one here to stop us like what happened in 1923. Yes. What is going on here? Wait, we can sneak out and spread the news. Not so fast. Well, I'm gonna go now. No, you don't. Let me go, you idiot. Percy was badly damaged and had been removed from his chassis. Shall we carry on, Gordon? Percy, <laughs> I'll take you to the Steamworks. That's you nasty piece of
said I was free to go. Yeah, nice. Harvey, you're alive. Yes, I'm very much alive. But I did nearly die as I was pushed off of a cliff. But I was able to grab on with my hook. And it took a while to get down, but I managed to land on the tracks. But I'm still damaged and I can't move for a while until I'm fixed. Then how did you get here? I tried my best, but it took me hours and hours. Hey, Nia. Percy's been badly damaged. Alfred threw him against the wall. And right now, Gordon's fighting him, and we have to get to the place where he is. Hey, Toby, do you want to come? Definitely. But we need to get more people to fight him. But we can't do the same thing that we did to him last time, because it's clearly not going to work, since we, since we did that to him last time, and he's back now. I think we'll just have to trap him somewhere, considering he's a ghost. I don't even know if he is a ghost anymore. Considering that engines can come to life again, like Percy did, he might be alive himself. <laughs> Me and Percy have found out something horrible. Once we show you this recording that we made of what Alfred's doing, you have to show your friends. <coughs> um, what a shame, Golden. You had good potential to be evil. Now it's all gone to waste. No! I can't get up. <coughs> Dear Lord! Holy God! Gordon was being a prick lately, but he didn't deserve to die. Especially the way he did. Breaking news! There is a new heading for the island of Sodor. But before you all panic, it's only going for the Northwestern Railway. And then you people on the Northwestern Railway might be thinking, Right, this is terrible news. Well, it's not a very big nuke, and it's only going for the area of Love's Cove. So if you live anywhere near that area, you better evacuate. In other news, an engine, a green Fledger and Jennings Co. tank engine, has been found on the Allsdale Railway, buried underground. And that is the news. This may be depressing for some of you, but remember, if you live anywhere near Bluffs Co., evacuate. We need to get off here. No, we need to get we're off going here. to die. There's a new coming. If you two are done panicking, I have a question to ask you. Well, Mr. Over, what is it, the problem dude? is the turntable's too small for you to pull me out of here, and you can't just pull me from behind because there's too many trucks in the way, and it would take too long for you to shunt the trucks out of the way because there's a nuke coming. So the plan is, I need you to throw me onto the tracks. I'll try my best. I've made it safely, Mr. Oliver. All right, then, Duck. Let's get ready to evacuate. Where's Donald and Douglas? They're at Groven's Gate Works, but that's nowhere near here, so they should be fine. I can't believe that Alfred will launch a nuke on us. I can. James, he killed your brother in 1925. He killed me, and he killed Gordon. What makes you think he wouldn't try to kill us all again? I just didn't think he'd do something this extreme. Now how would he even get a hold of a nuke? Hey you, woman. Sorry sir, you can't go here. This is property of NASA, and only authorized people are allowed here. Shut up. Give me your spaceship, or there will be consequences. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Give me your ship. Alright, sir, I'm going to call security. If you don't leave. 
security. <laughs> Sir, I'll give you one last chance to leave this place now. How about no? The military will be after you. The military is my next destination. I'm sorry, sir. No unauthorized personnel here allowed. Get out of my way. Man down! I'm not armed. I don't have my gun. We need to go but get back up. You, sir. You're not allowed here. Get out or you will immediately be shot. Prepare to die! Soldiers began shooting at him. But then he ran behind the bomb. So they shot up the bomb because they're stupid. It's gonna blow up! So what are we supposed to do now? Or I think we should go to Tidmouth Sheds. Does anyone know where Gordon is? Alfred killed him in an explosion. He burned him along with the building and they all died. Oh. God, this is worse for that time when I had to deliver the old fat controller's groceries. Do you need help, Thomas? Well, uh, Henry, I'm clearly struggling right here, moving in place, my face is red, and I'm not getting anywhere. But no, I don't need help. Well, if you're going to be a prick, then I'm not going to help you. Oh, come on! You brought this on yourself. Thomas, this is no time to be telling jokes! But Percy, I don't want this series to be depressing and sad and make people cry. You could have made that joke later. But uh, Percy, when is later? This episode is getting way too long. It's time to end it. Leave now. Right, well, Percy, before you go and eat, Thomas, I'm just gonna head home. Honey, I'm home. Wait, Burnett, come back. I can explain. Why did this have to happen? Unregistered hyperfam two. There's a huge rating.